What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Crisp Purpose, back at it again with another Gems of War Goal Farming Teams video for you guys. So, as the title says, how can you gain a 2 million to about 2.3 million gold per hour? Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how I've gained that and possibly how you can do so as well. So one of the troops you're going to need is definitely this one right here, Cedric Sparklesack. Um, he has a great final trait of money brags. You will gain 100% bonus goal from battle once you have this troop fully traded. Along with that, you're going to need this pet right here, which is the Mini Mimic. It will give a 5% um, goal from battle once you have this sucker fully maxed out um, all the way up to Mythic level. Um, other important things to note as well is that for me, let me go all the way over to my hero right here and go to armor bonuses. I have the Death Knight armor purchased and I always have this, this armor selected in my armor bonuses, right? So I'll get 100% uh, gold from each battle as a result. It's a bonus on top of my regular gold amount. Along with that, I want to point this out because I know persons are going to be mentioning this is my VIP level. My VIP level is a little bit higher because I spend in the game, um, specifically on campaigns and starter packs and stuff like that, um, so as to support the developers because that's important as well. So I gain a bonus of 50% gold from each battle. Now, how do I get additional gold to bump me up to such a high level? It is as a result of the new adjustment to PvP. So right here in the PvP goals, you have that uh, right here, this bonus, right? You, you earn a 15-minute bonus every single time you get one of these and you activate it. Um, you're going to gain additional gold from battle. Now, as a result of that, if you run this for an hour, as you guys can see, you get a 15 minutes here and additional 15 minutes up there and additional 15 minutes over here. I think there's a I think that's about three of them. One, two, three three four yeah you get four of these so that's 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 one hour right there um in which you can bump up the amount of gold that you're going to be getting now the final aspect of what you're going to be needing is a great gold farming team now the best gold farming team currently in the game is this one right here the ruby mccack at the top of the team followed by cedric and another cedric and then the leprechaun at the back of the team why is this the best gold farming team? Because the bonus for gold increases significantly as a result of having two Cedric. So let's hop into a fight. We're in Explore uh, 10 in Golvania. And Explore 10 with this team has proven to be the fastest option, right? So for example, as you guys can see, Ruben McCack at the top of the team. This is going to be dealing true damage to all enemies, then creating three booty gems, um, and then exploding five gems along with that in the weapon upgrades it has prosperous prosperous it will gain 10 gold every single time you cast a weapon now leprechaun as well gives gold um, you gain 20 gold from him and as a result of the bonuses this gets bumped up really high uh, the classes i decided to go with here is the thief hero class but as well you can use not the thief i'm using the titan hero class but you can also use the thief hero class um, for the light fingers trait on the thief hero class. So let's cast your leprechaun. All right, you do some true damage. Cast your leprechaun again. You want to explode all of those um, booty gems. As you guys can see, it's a 300 um, meter for gold, right? So as, let's take a look at it here. I'm getting 6,320 gold from that fight. Let's back out. Was that 3,620? I think so. <laughs> 3,000, 6,300. Sorry, 6,300. All right, let's get over here. Let's collect this. Um, I'm not going to be able to showcase the entire uh, time on the video, but let's get back into a fight. All right, and let's take a look at how much gold I'm going to be gaining from this fight now as a result of activating that bonus. Let's go, Leprechaun. Right, let's match this off. Now let's cast a Ruby Macaque. There we go. A meter for gold is coming up. It's not fully there yet, but let's match this one. Come on, let's get the hero going. If you want, you can cast Leprechaun again as a result. And now finally the Ruby Macaque. And there we are. We're at 300 uh, meter for gold. Now let's take a look. How much gold did we get? 12,604, man. 
That's a massive amount of gold. And if you keep on playing like this for one straight hour, I can tell you, you're going to be gaining at least 2 million at my VIP level um, to about 2.3 million gold per hour. And I did it yesterday. I had Cam recheck my numbers. I'm like, is this correct? And she's like, yeah, this is correct. You're gaining that much gold per hour. It's, it's super um, powerful. And as I said before, the best um, level of Explore to do is Explore 10. Um, you can also do Explore 12 if you want to, um, but I wouldn't recommend it if you're seeking to just max out the amount of gold you're getting per hour. Um, if you're not really pushing for such a high level, there are a couple teams that you guys can use. So let me finish up this fight and let me back out of here, go into another team and show you guys what you're able to do with those teams. So there we go. Full meter for gold once again. And we're at the top level. Just like that. Um, all right, I got to finish out the run. Got to finish out the run. And if you guys find this helpful and informative, definitely hit the like button and comment to let me know what you guys think. And I should say, this is one of the main reasons why players should be playing the new PvP and not avoiding it because you're leaving a lot on the table. Um, if you're able to gain this much gold per hour, um, there's no reason you shouldn't be getting these boosters from PvP. You should be playing PvP every single week so as to gain it. Another team that you guys can use, of course, is the Stellarex option with the Bronze Lock Pistol, Stellarex, Cedric, and um, Greed. Now, if you don't have Cedric, you can actually, if you don't have uh, Stellarex, I should say, not Cedric. Everybody should have Cedric. Let's type in Cosmic right here. And let's grab some of the other Cosmic Dragons. So, for example, you can use Eclipses on this team, and it would be a great option. Let's hop into a fight and show you guys. Because this deals a lot of damage um, for what it is. And you're, you're using a Brown Storm here as well, so that's very good on this team. Cast that one, and the troop has a great opportunity for an extra turn, so that's that's also very good. Yep. So this is a lower meter for gold, of course, because you only have one Cedric. Uh, I have a meter of about 200. But as you guys can see, that was about 11,870 gold per hour. And, and as I said before, all of the Cosmic Dragons can work on this team. There's no restriction on which dragons you can use. You can use any one of these and it will work. Why? Every single troop uses brown mana. So you can use this one, you can use whatever you want to. Um, I tend to prefer to use one that matches with the storm, but if you guys you know, don't like that, you can switch it out and use whatever. Um, of course, Stellarix is the, a really powerful option here. Why? Because majority of times with these teams, you have to cast your bronze lock pistol multiple times to get your troop powered up. But if you have Stellarix on your team, um, you're only going to need to cast a Bronze Lock Pistol about majority of times only once. Sometimes if Stella misses, you might need to cast more than once. But majority of times, as you can, as you guys can see, I only need to cast my, um, my Bronze Lock Pistol once. And Stella Rex takes it from there and gets the job done. Let's try this out again on a couple fights. And uh, of course, if, if persons are going for the most meta option of gold farming, they might want to grind out a Vault Event. But just in case you want additional gold, this is why you have these teams, right? You have these teams to make use of to gain more gold um, than what you gain from a Vault event. All right, hurry up and die. There we go. But of course, the fastest way out of every single team is the first team that I showcase. That is the fastest option. I might quit this fight and get to it. Oh, we got a gnome. I'm not going to quit this fight. All right, let's go. Let's match this. Match that up. Just cast it. Here we go. Now cast our Stellarix. And hopefully I help, I um, explained everything properly. Sometimes when I'm going over certain things in these videos, I tend to skip out a lot of things, but the pet is important uh, for a great uh, goal farming. Um, the armor set is, in, is important as well for great goal farming. If you want to gain the most out of it, you should be having the Death Knight armor. And I'm not going to be like others and not encourage persons to spend in the game. This is a business. Yes, we love playing the game, but it is a business. Um, there is no gems of war if the devs are not making money, right? And being profitable year over year. It needs to happen. If it does not, we we end up not having gems of war anymore. So I just want to state that on this video. It's very important for people to support 
the game by spending. Monetary contributions are very important. All right, let's match this. Right? Of course, we want the most for our money, right? We don't want to be um, giving to the devs and then we get really bad gameplay and poor uh, things in the game. We, we want it to be the best. But of course, we're, we're not going to stop supporting the game. We're not going to stop spending um, because that is essential. That is essential for a game to stay around, for it to survive. All right? Um, did I go back into the same fight? Yeah. So as you guys can see, I have a number of different goal farming options. But I think that this option right here is the best man to gain 12,000, over 12,000 gold per hour is incredible. Um, sorry, not 12,000 gold per hour. 12,000 gold per per fight is incredible. Um, and I was knocking down fights in about, about 19, anywhere from 16 to like 19 seconds per, per battle. It all depends. On how fast I was going, but man, it was it was a lot, and I and I showcased it uh, to my wife, and she was like, "Yeah, that is a lot of gold uh, per hour." And if you guys want to try it out, try it out. Let me know. Let me know exactly how much gold you're gaining um, per minute, per hour, uh, per battle. And I know that some players out there are going to be gaining way more gold than me, and it, it should be great. It should be great. All right, guys, catch y'all next one. Peace.